In this code sample we already have a data model. Here if we double click the EDMX file we shall see that our model refers a class, its name is course. Currently this is the same table. So we can actually work with objects of this class. Here within the web form ASPX code we can find a use of the entity data source control. This control doesn't have any visual aspect for the user. It is just for getting data from the entity data model and if to be more specific we refer to the data model we can get when using this connection string. This is a name we have for a connection string in web.config. When using the wizard for adding the support for entity framework into the ASP.NET web application here we get this new XML element that refers a connection string and this connection string has a name we can change it if we want so here we specify ne the name of the connection string we want to use here we actually specify the name of the property in um, that auto-generated class that extends the object context. If we go to class view here we can find the Abelsky entities class, a class that extends object context a class that was auto-generated for us using when following the entity framework wizard for adding the entity model and here we can find properties and one of them is courses meaning that we can refer this property for getting an object set of objects from this type Each object from this class represents a specific course. In this code sample we work with a table that holds data that describes courses. Let's get back to the SPX page. So we have an entity data source control and it's um, responsibility is for getting the data from the database, from the specific table, everything according to the entity model we use. Here we have a list view control. List view has a visual aspect of course and here we specify that the data source we want to use in this list view is the data source that its ID is entity data source 1. Actually we refer to this entity data source. So we actually bind the two. Here we define a template for each item. Each item will go into this item placeholder. Here we define the template of the list view that includes um, this is a simple table with um, adding. Here we can fix that. Let's change it into H. TH is table adding, title on top, and uh, this line specifies that each one of the rows in the table we get will include data according to this template and this template actually refers 
to each one of the objects we get from the entity data source we work each one of those objects as those three properties we can see those three properties if we go to the class that course class that each object instantiated from it represent a specific course a specific row in that database table we work with here is the ID property and here is the name property and here is the hours property so let's execute this code sample this is the output we get